السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وٹ ایور اللہ ہیز گیون اس وی ہیو ٹو یوز اٹ جسٹ فار اور ویلفیئر اور ویلفیئر از نٹ ہڈن ان دس ورلڈ بٹ دیٹ از ہڈن ان دا ہیئر آفٹر so we have to try our best to send our wealth our resources our time our energy our uh, spare time just for the life here after that is the return that return will give us the enjoyment of the life hereafter and we will find each and everything so much nice there we can't imagine so this way we have to think about that if allah has given us so much we try to give away in charity in sadaka uh, in order to make our life here after more better because that life is forever this life is for the time being short life will finish any time this way you try to eat food with the guest try to find the guest make cooperation and coordination with the people so ibrahim al islam he was eating food with the guest and this is sunnah of ibrahim al islam try to find guest good guest eat with them and also get help from them get respect from them and give respect to them and mashallah you can enjoy with the distribution of respect and regard with the distribution of love with the distribution of Uh, food and the other blessings of Allah that have been blessed to you just to enjoy it with cooperation and coordination of your family members of your relatives and of those people who are needy who are genuine people for that thing so you have to do it in order to get uh, the benefit of the life hereafter very important to become a generous person not to be a miser so this is very important sometimes if you look after some people who are greedy people bad people you feel if you are not to give away something to them they will backbite you they will taunt you they will curse you they will uh, they will try to defame you then try to give them something also don't worry because if you are spending something in order to save your honor your respect and regard holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that will be written in sadqa also and very important <clears throat> and even if you look some people disturb trouble people and some people are like this then you give away something to them so that there should not be disturbance within the society the society should be the muslim society should be away from the disturbance and trouble should be in a peaceful situation so you can do it just to fill the mouth of those people with something that those who are trouble maker so no problem you will get the reward of sadqa alhamdulillah so this is the main thing that you have to create in allah's earth peace and prosperity that is the main thing what allah want because wallahu la yuhibbul fasad allah don't want to see the fasad very important and the other thing very important for us 
is that one the people who are in service like in service mean like people if you if you are the owner of a business and people are working under your uh, uh, control under your uh, guidance and those people you have to look after them and if you help them more and fulfill the needs of those people something extra than their earning really you will get the reward so much from allah at the day of judgment even if you feel some people who are weak or they can work less but you can count them in full work and pay them full you will get the full reward from allah even you feel if some people who are who are good with with iman and uh, with love with allah and they look like nice muslim they never leave salah they pray five times a day and they look after each every person according to sharia and find those people if they are working under your business under your control so give them special incentive so that those people they should get uh, satisfaction and when they will will become satisfied and their requirement will be fulfilled and dua will come from their heart that will change your life and your business will be promoted and will be more prosper and you will find the enjoyment that you can't get by paying keep in mind very important and if allah has given you something more like if you get more money then you have to spend that one in your relatives find the people in your relatives especially who are uh, poor people or needy people or who were working and now their business have been fallen down and they are bankrupt or they are in trouble problem so help them so that they should rise up and they will give you dua alhamdulillah then that dua will work for you and also this and this sadqa will change your life also because your lifetime will be more your food uh, or risk will be more alhamdulillah you will get so much things before allah allah will be more happy with you and more merciful upon you alhamdulillah so same like that if you look uh, like uh, uh, like uh, some people like need in the society like uh, they are ill and you think that there is need of dispensary and then you try to open up that one if you have more money try that one also if there is need of water people they have no uh, clean water just to, um, try to uh, open water pump for them and uh, some uh, some other resources that will help to give them water even if you can see some people they have like uh, there is stream or canal or some river and there is no bridge you try to build it then the people should move from one place to other so that will be a a good thing will give you some uh, your credit in the day of judgment even you will die that uh, the credit will pass on with the passage of time to you like if there is no road or if you have more money you can build the road also so that the people when they move on the road they will make dua for you and inshallah allah will uh, give you more reward this will be a sadqa and this is sadqa that will continue even if you will die you will get the reward of that so the main thing is that that sometime if the money is more the people they become bad like they can drink alcohol and do sexual evils and dancing and club and something so many bad things bad cooperation and coordination and wastage of life is there then the iman also go away and the people they become like a hollow drum like drum you know drum if you if you hit the drum it will give the sound 
and but inside is nothing hollow. So these people are like that. So outside they say we are big Muslim, we are big Muslim, but inside nothing, no iman, trouble. So these people are those people who have the habit of alcohol, drinking, sexual evils, dancing and club and so many things. They are wasting their money and all these resources in these type of evil things. Those people, iman is stuck out like this way. So try to uh, away from the company of these people also otherwise they will motivate and initiate you and also persuade you towards evil practices be away from the company of these people sit in the company of good people so that you can be a good person alhamdulillah be careful and try to if allah has given you so much money and resources then you have to try to spend uh, eat simple food and uh, wear the simple clothes very very important for you you have to look at the Suleiman alayhi salam Suleiman alayhi salam he was wearing the simple clothes and eating the simple food so alhamdulillah that will be the sunnah of Suleiman alayhi salam he was the king of the whole world and he was very thankful to Allah alhamdulillah you try to follow the sunnah of Suleiman alayhi salam and if you have more money you try to spend that one for sadqa and just to, uh, uh, give away for uh, the uh, for the people who are mentioned in sharia and so that you can get the return from Allah at the day of judgment and keep in mind that uh, Allah has given more money to the kuffar and mushrikeen and munafikeen and even uh, those people, their, their, uh, their children and their money will not save them at the day of judgment. Like Allah said in Holy Quran in Surah Mujadila, ayat number 17, Rajim, Rahman, Rahim, Lan Anhum Amwaluhum Wala Auladuhum Min Allahi Shaya. So these people, their wealth and their children will not save them at the day of judgment from any way. So, Ulaika Ashabu Nar, these people will be the people of hellfire. Hum fiya khalidun, they will stay there forever. Keep in mind, mind this is a trouble. So, you are not to look those people who are rich, but those people are munafikeen, are kuffar, who live away from them. So, try to get the company of good people. Otherwise, if you get the company of bad people or the fasikeen who are sinful people, they will motivate towards the sinful act and the shaitan will overcome you. Like Allah said in this ayat number 19 of Surah Mujadila, Auzu Billah uh, Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim, Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Istahawaza Alayhimush Shaitanu. Then if you will adopt the company of those people, what will happen? Shaitan will overcome on you. For ansahum zikr Allah. Then he will he will make you to forget zikr of Allah. Ulaika hizbu shayateen. And then you will be included in the group of shayateen. Allah inna hizbu shaytani humul khasirun. And people who are in the group of shaitan, these are the losers. At the day of judgment, they will not get any reward because they will be loser people. So try to be away from those people who try to motivate you or initiate you or persuade you towards the things which are out of Sharia. They want to make you uh, the life against Sharia, outside Sharia, they say enjoy your life. You can say I will enjoy my life in the life hereafter. This life in this world is test and trial for me. Don't worry, I am happy with my life and I will enjoy there. You can enjoy here, no problem. Alhamdulillah, I am good, happy. So I am happy, don't worry, I am happy and you can do your work. I am happy with my work, Alhamdulillah. Don't take the company of those people who motivate you towards the bad things, evil practices. And get, get the company of those people who are motivating you and initiating you and persuading you towards the good things. They want 
to you to become the friend of friend of Allah and friend of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and you have to be a good person, person of taqwa then in akramakum in the lahi atkaakum when you will get the taqwa you will be the favorite person of Allah Allah make favorite person in this world and the world hereafter Amen